Peace, the hero on the mic. We are about to begin another fast, a group, seven day group fast, uh, starting December 4th. This is 2023, and we're going to the 11th. And we are excited to have y'all back. This is a, a special time to be fasting. This is the cycle of fasting, especially if you're in the northern hemisphere of of the world. This is the winter solstice. This is the pit. This is the cold. But before we get into the small demonstration that I have promoting and showing the importance of this time, I want to promote some of our products and let y'all know that we have uh, sea moss in its various forms, capsules, um, whole dried, and we offer the gel as well. So if you do not have a sea moss connect, uh, please go and check out our our store and uh, which I will leave the link below this video. And I also want to promote the new product we have, which is our mouthwash. It is something that we we have been using for a very long time and have been experimented with. And it's one of my favorite products uh, hygienically that, you know, I see every day. So go and check those out on our store. Once again, I'll leave the, the link in the bio. We also have uh, at this time up until the fourth. So you have about three more days to get the detox package at a discount. And then you also have three more days to get into the fast. So if you're looking to detox all of that holiday food out, <laughs> which is a perfect time to do it now. Um, and then also get some some really good knowledge on on the cycle of this time. And OK, so, yeah, we're about to jump right into it. Let's do it. OK, OK, so. For this slightly new type of segment that I'm going to be introducing, I have never done this type of class before, but it is something that I speak about often, and it is uh, something it is something that I apply to my life often when it comes to how I look at healing, how I look at cleansing. Um, I mean, how I just like how I look at life in general uh, when it comes to the circle of life or. Um, you know, the, the cycles and ways of things that, that happen to us through this lifetime and actually abstractly bringing that forth, if that makes sense. Uh, a lot of times these things can be felt, but are, um, are you know, have a difficult uh, way of being seen, you know, uh, physically. Uh, so by bringing that to the, to the naked eye, by objectifying it it becomes easier for us to to understand to understand so um this is one of the ways that i have made the invisible visible for my craft for how i teach uh, and detoxification cleansing healing in, in in any in many forms as we watch the body do what it does we will notice that it has cycles it has waves and you know it acts out in a certain way so i created this uh short i would say demo i wouldn't say class yeah demo sounds a little bit better demonstration of uh of objectifying the sine wave of healing so i'm going to get us started by hitting that record button all right and here we are with the course or the um, excuse me the demo so the sine wave of healing tracking motions of body and mind and I actually really like this picture um, <laughs> that the rise and fall so in this in this course we will be discussing cycles of time related to detoxification and healing sine waves apply to all things that exist in time in some form or another as we become more conscious in our own personal cycles we will become more aware of what state we are experiencing presently and also cycles of the future it is my goal to assist you with foresight so that you can be prepared to act accordingly 
okay sine wave um most people never heard of this so i'm gonna make it very uh definition based a sine wave is a geometric waveform that oscillates uh, moves up or down or side to side from an equilibrium all right so um, that brings up another term an equilibrium if you don't know can be defined as a state in which opposing forces or influences are balanced so when you put these two together you get an image that looks looks like this all right so in this sine wave you see that time is basically that equilibrium point it's an oscillation whatever we're looking at is an oscillation tethered to the equilibrium so if we're you know expressing expressing um, breath or, or if we're, we're speaking on a certain topic uh, we're looking at the circadian rhythm uh, that line will oscillate through time all right so So there are, you know, many types of waves. There's um, one of the most simple and easiest ways to actually ab abstractly or objectify the concept into physicality is tracking our breath. The average person breathes a three second inhale and a three second exhale. With this breath, we experience an upward nature of the inhale and the releasing dynamic of an exhale so I actually did not insert the picture because it didn't need to be inserted here because I have a diagram right below that all right so this diagram here we can see that that three second breath that I spoke of on average is seen as the purple line or the line in the middle maybe it's blue purple looks like purple to me um, this oscillating up and down the inhale if we start from the beginning it goes up and it goes down right and you see each one of those notches is about it's about a second so i found this on the internet and it actually applied pretty well so if we decide to um, slow our breath down then you'll see the expression of the sine wave becomes less dramatic as it's seen by that line, that red line. And you'll see the seconds too. It lands right on that six second mark. So, and then it does it again, six seconds again. What well, you'll see, and if you look at it, it is, we have control over this, over these ups and downs through our breath. Now, if we decide to shorten our breath with quick inhales and exhales, with, some people call this fire breathing. <laughs> we are tapping that line a lot more. Um, and it, 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 it induces a specific feeling. Each one of these lines are, are parallel with feelings. So if you're going to, um, let's say, let's say um slow the breath down so that's the one i have an example as an example which would be that red line if you're slowing the breath down that actually runs parallel with lower uh, blood pressure states of calm states of silence states of um cooling relaxing and that is to slow metabolism slow down metabolism and that could be a good or bad thing depending on depending on your goal so um that is how we connect that to um feelings so we see it it's objectified we feel the breath obviously we need to breathe but then we also um can use it as a controller to induce certain states of being so we're going to tie this into healing which of course the breath is <laughs> The breath is healing. It is his life itself. And there are many variations of this breath. And when we're changing our breath or using this as a controller, remote control, we see that it may look different. This, this, this sine wave may look very different depending on what we do with our breath. 
And if you be patient with me, we're going to apply this more to healing, of course. But the breath is just so easy to uh, explain this through. So in this line here, um, this would can be seen as a breath hold. See that if that line, this orange line going up and if you just breathe normally it would be going back down as a simple wave but if we hold our breath at the top then the line stays at the top and through this i actually see and learn that what goes up <laughs> generally comes down there or what is dark eventually becomes light or vice versa this is that yin and yang that um that people kind of take for granted it, it's, it, it seems like such a, a simple concept but understanding that if you are experiencing a high that you better enjoy that high because eventually you know there are times where you might have to come closer to the equilibrium point or below that um, and if we reverse that you can actually hold your breath on an exhale so then it would be reversed. You would see this line immediately starting from the left dip down. And if you hold your breath on an exhale, you'll be holding that below the line. And eventually, you're going to have to take a breath, right? So, you know, that's just that indicator of this is a cycle and you're going to be experiencing all of that. Um, whether you hold your breath <laughs> on an inhale or an exhale, you have to breathe again. So this may, um, you know, this is just showing a, a very dynamic way of looking at life cycles and healing cycles. And so next, we there are also cycles within cycles that can be re revealed from objectifying our point of focus. So we're going to stay on the breath here, but I'm also going to start applying detoxification and my healing experience overlaid with that. Uh, and this is uh, a year through time. So say we go through um, spring. Let's say we go through spring. We're going to look at this cycle as a year of time. We're going through spring, and it's a beautiful. The sun is coming out. It starts going up, and it starts being warm. And then at the peak of the top of this, we're at summer. And then after summer the you know you experience that that heat for a minute and then you start to go down to past that equilibrium and you're in the fall you're actually falling <laughs> below the line and then once you hit the bottom you're in winter but you'll notice that there's more cycles within this so you're as you're going through the summer and winter you're also experiencing night and day and for me night is harder for me i know that throughout the day when i wake up most of the time that's going to be the easiest time not to eat <laughs> the easiest time you know to to fast for me is when i wake up or the easiest time to stay light i actually don't want to jump into uh, a meal as soon as i wake up so i notice that when I'm doing a seven day fast or I'm doing any type of fasting, the, the, the rising time has been very, it will be very simple for me. But when it comes to nights, that's when I know, okay, hey, this is when I normally get a little distracted or normally the craving kind of kicks in at night or normally the agitation of uh, sleepless, sleeplessness comes at night. So you'll see, you may be going through that cycle if we go back to the picture or it says one week, or it could be a day. Let's, let's stick to the days where you're actually going through a cycle. And if you're at the bottom, uh, if you look to the right, towards the end of the, the, the lowest point of that, you'll be going through a cycle where you're at the bottom of the bottom. You know, you're, you're, feeling, you're feeling like, okay, I'm, I'm not doing so well physically um, in, the, in the morning. And then you know, sometimes that, that cycle may hit you or you're like, okay, I have to be prepared because I know nighttime is going to be even harder because that's how, that's how it is for me. Sometimes people do better at night. That's where it's about learning your cycles. Um, but 
the whole point of this actual diagram is to show you that there are cycles within cycles and you may be experiencing a very high point um, or you very you may be experiencing a very low point. So this is that's basically I jumped the gun on how it applies to healing. But I remember um, if we go back to, you know, this diagram here, I remember the first time I actually started to cleanse and I started to actually have an inclination of, of healing towards myself. I actually experienced the highest of highs <laughs> for like a year. So, you know, this this I thought would last for the rest of my life, I thought if I just kept doing what I was doing, then I would just keep going up or I would keep experiencing these feelings of infinity or, you know, um, that that's just the way life was supposed to be. And there was, there was no ups and downs. I was just doing the wrong thing before. And now I would forever, I would forever be feeling light and clean and, you know, things like that. But no, that is not the case. I did experience a very long breath hold of feeling great but eventually I had to come back down and experience other parts of life to further my growth um, you know there was a lot of times growth is not really taking place when you're on these high horses um, that is where you experience pleasure this is the pleasure side of the wave because if we're looking at pleasure and pain we can look at pleasure as going up and as as painful as pain is as, you know, being below this line, right? And, um, and that, you know, uh, it's interesting, but not in every case, but the average human being normally learns from painful experiences. Painful experiences force you to learn. So another lesson in, in this uh, breakdown is that not to run from the cycle of the dip. Don't run to the dip. Don't run from the dip. Experience the dip and enjoy the dip as much as you can. Understand that it's just a cycle. Understand that it is here to make you a better person. Um, it is a reflection of true experience. Uh, one, you know what you experience on one half is obvious that the other half exists so these this is will be the focus of our next class um our seven day fast or our group fast which is beginning in three days so this is a way to uh, basically do a last call let people know that this is what we'll be focusing on and clearing out that cycle so right now it's most likely cold if you're in the United States. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it is a cold time. For me, it's hard. <laughs> I'm in the winter time. Fruits are not readily available. Uh, juicy fruits, the, the, the foods that I really enjoy to do fast on. It's, it's Like I said, it's cold where I am. Things are slow. So this is the pit. And there are also holidays. <laughs> There's also family members that bring the pit that 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 pull the heaviness of winter stuff your face with turkey stuff your face with you know you know thanksgiving and then oh here's halloween candy oh there's or well, halloween candy then thanksgiving then there's the um christmas and then you know this is a time where obvious gluttony is is induced um culturally so being that we're at the pit, we're at the winter solstice, I will, this is one of my most, um, I would say, um, important fasts of the year is ones that are in November, December, January, because of the reasons I just named. So if you're interested in this fast, if you're interested in um, keeping your body maintenance through times of... Um, heavy metals through times of uh, metallic in influences that are not organic uh, digital influences that are not that literally put if you put water 70 percent of what you're made of on this device that we're speaking from it wouldn't it wouldn't function anymore so we're in the age of opposite of biology and if you want to stay biological and understand that you know that this is a cycle of time 
that you can make the choice. You can be a digital being or a biological being. Um, you can decide to give in to um, the urge that pulls you down, or you can dance and fly. Like it, it really is that. So that is what I want to hone in on it um, when it comes to this this fast. And um, hope hope to see you there. We will also be talking about external environment, which I, I talked a little bit about, but I wanted to talk about, um, you know, the same thing that applies in the body that it applies ex- outside of the body. So when we look at chelators, um, I have actually found a chelator for the external environment that pulls uh, toxins out of the air, pulls heavy metals out of the air, pulls allergens out of the air. So that is something that I'm very excited to introduce. And um, so so if you hit the link, the link below, um, or if you go to, I'm going to post this on YouTube. So I'm going to actually post this link into YouTube. You won't be able to hit that link just like that. I just thought about that. I'm going to post the same link. So if you do want to sign up, hit the link. There is a detox package that we have on de- discount every fast. And... Um, you know, it's not it's not available all the time. So get it before it's up because it will end December 4th as we start to fast. So um, that detox package is also available um, via this link. If you hit the options to buy, you'll see that there is a ticket option and then there is a detox package discount option. The package normally gets to you within two to three business days. It is a liquid based detox. Um, if you request the capsules, we can also make capsules for you. But I definitely recommend to do um, the a liquid option. And um, yeah, so I look forward to seeing y'all there. Um, I'm excited. I don't really, I'm not, I won't be fasting with y'all this time um, because I have uh, quite a few things that are going on in my life that were, you know, it kind of not forces me, but it just shows me that I am on a different cycle of time that I'm in a feeding cycle, but not a gluttonous cycle. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you are inter- interested, email me. I'm going to also put that, put my email in the description of this video. And yeah, any questions you have, I can answer. I'll be quick to answer those. And once again, I hope to see y'all there. Peace.